We are now departing on a trip down Barstow's Main Street, also known as Route 66. Here we see the heart of Barstow's downtown area filled with exciting historical facts, as well as the gateway to fun and adventure, otherwise known as the City of Barstow. Here is where Barstow is located in relation to Los Angeles. We'll zoom in on the map to get a better view. Downtown Barstow is located about here. This is the route we'll take. We'll travel through town from west to east or from the 58 freeway to Interstate 40. We start by exiting the 58 freeway at Main Street and then turn right. Reset your odometer here to follow along with our tour. Main Street, which is the route we are traveling on now, is Route 66. Just remember, all the traffic that now travels on Interstate 15 used to travel on this road. This first mile and a half from the freeway was on the outskirts of town. So along this section, some of these vacant buildings you see here were once popular spots for locals and travelers to dine and drink. About a mile from the freeway on the left, you'll see this panorama of trains and large buildings on the left. This is BNSF Railroad's Locomotive Works. It is their major maintenance shop along this western segment of their railroad's span between Chicago and Los Angeles. Inside the main shop, these pictures were taken during an open house at the locomotive shop around 2005. It is likely that many of BNSF's orange locomotives you see rolling down the tracks were routinely serviced in this building. East of the locomotive shops, you'll see BNSF's massive freight classification yard, which we'll visit shortly. At about 2.3 miles, just after passing by the intersection of L Street, you'll begin to see some classic old hotels and cafes. In fact, on the right was the site of the famous Bun Boy, which was a Barstow icon for many decades. Sadly, it was torn down in 2014. At 2.5 miles, there is a Foster's Freeze on the right, which has been remodeled to reflect a classic diner of the Route 66 era. It has a unique way to deliver food to the drive-thru. If you turn left at the Foster's Freeze onto H Avenue, you can get a closer look at BNSF Railroad's classification yard. Rail cars are sorted here and are lashed onto new trains that go to various destinations. At about three miles, Main Street begins to climb a small hill. In this area, you will begin to see more classic Route 66 era hotels that have been lovingly restored. Keep a lookout for their classic looking signs. Just past and over the hill, more hotels can be seen. One has a great collection of artifacts, along with murals on the side of a wall. At the bottom of the hill, you are officially in downtown. On the right, you'll see the classic El Rancho Hotel. 
This hotel was popular with movie stars traveling between Las Vegas and LA during the 1940s and 50s. Here's a classic postcard depicting the El Rancho from a different culture as compared to what is seen along Route 66 today. This is a panoramic view of the entire hotel as seen from the street. Here we see a mural on one of the walls depicting Route 66 in its heyday. Across from the El Rancho is First Street. This was actually the former junction of Route 66 and Route 91, which came in from Las Vegas and Salt Lake City. It was considered a major intersection and was once the busiest intersection along all of Route 66. The area on the map is officially downtown Barstow. If you head north on 1st Street, you'll cross the railroad tracks and see the Harvey House, which is another one of Barstow's historical gems. Check out the separate video tour that shows off the Harvey House. Here is a street scene of the former Route 66 and 91 intersection and looking back in the direction we came. Here's that same scene from a famous picture taken in the 1950s. Can you find some of the buildings that still exist today? Now we'll head into the main segment of downtown. Look for old neon signs on the buildings, such as this one, as well as the city's addition of classic American car monument signs that have become a must-see for tourists worldwide. There are several very old buildings. Other buildings depict historical figures important to Barstow's history, such as trailblazer Jedediah Smith, who was the first explorer to plot the rough course of Route 66. Also in this area of downtown, you'll begin to notice numerous murals. This one depicts the gold rush that occurred in Barstow. Other murals explain some of the historical events in Barstow, including Native American history. One mural also showcases the wildlife found in the surrounding desert. Look for the separate video tour of the Barstow murals that shows them in more detail and describes where each one is located. For now, we'll continue our trek eastbound on Route 66 and Main Street. At about 4.4 miles, you'll encounter additional classic hotels from Route 66's heyday. Soon, We'll descend another hill as our trip down Main Street nears its end at the junction of I-15. However, here is where one of the more interesting businesses of Barstow is situated. Barstow Station is often the busiest McDonald's 
in the world. Here, local and international travelers stop for food, shopping, and maybe a souvenir or two that showcases Route 66 and its impact on American culture. After Barstow Station, on the right, was the site of a classic old, terrible Herbst gas station, where this sign used to exist. Today, however, it stands once more, this time living life as a Chevron gas station. Beyond that is the old Barstow Mall, which is now mostly government offices. And shortly after that, you reach Interstate 40, which is the end of Main Street and our journey down memory lane. A future video tour will show places to see along the old alignment of Route 66, which begins by turning left onto National Trails Highway just after crossing underneath the freeway. Thanks for going on our tour of Route 66 through downtown Barstow. The next time you find yourself speeding down the interstate, think of slowing down to take this nostalgic ride to see the sights you just saw, but this time with your own eyes. We hope you enjoyed the tour.